traditionally, it's common here in the Keys when you're permit fishing on these wrecks to fish small jig heads. You know, I should say large jig heads, relatively speaking, half ounce to an ounce, three quarters of an ounce. But my rigging technique is a little bit different, a little more stealthy. I go with a fish finder rig with a small little egg sinker, half ounce, sliding on that leader right there, small little barrel swivel, 10 feet of 30 pound diamond presentation fluorocarbon and a 4.0 circle hook. And that's it. For me, it's just a much stealthier approach than using a bulky jig head. And I believe that that crab looks much more natural, swims much more natural. And in turn, I'm gonna get more bites. These permit are not stupid. Everybody knows that. One of the most challenging fish to catch is a permit. Oops, broke the tip of that shell. We'll go to the other side. If you do that, if you can't get that hook in right, or if you break that shell by accident, go to the other side. You're not gonna kill the crab. Just take your time drilling the point of that hook in. Boom. And that's it right there. Real, real stealthy, real natural. A Couple of different ways to fish for these permit on these wrecks. A lot of the tower boats, they'll look for these fish, especially when that sun is high up in the sky. They'll literally sight fish for them and look around the wreck, look around the rubble. You can see them glimmering in the sun. You can see that yellow off their bellies and then they'll cast at them. But if you're in a boat without a tower, for example, ours, obviously that's not, you know, possible. So we like to just drift the wreck, you know, and cover ground. There's a big pack of fish down there. They're swimming around this large area. There's a big rubble pile here from old bridge rubble from the seven mile bridge. So we wanna stay on the move, you know, and we're just gonna continuously drift from upwind right across the wreck, you know, and we'll fish different parts of it, almost like a grid pattern to try and cover it all and hopefully cross paths with these fish, you know, when they're in the mood to eat, cause they're not always in the mood to eat. Permit could be incredibly finicky and certainly one of the most challenging fish of all fish to catch. So very, very exciting. It's a gamble, you know, not every time that you come out here in the spring and try and catch these permit on the wreck are you going to be successful or on wrecks or on rubble, but you've got to put in the time and when it all comes together, it's incredibly, incredibly rewarding.